Hey, what's up everybody? It's Andrew with We Run Guns, and today we're going to be doing the TUP by Nightcore. So this is ideally an EDC light. Here's some quick specs on it. I will be going through all the specs, so don't worry, but this is actually my first time unboxing it. So let's check it out. I will also leave links below in case anyone's interested. I believe it's going for $65 at this moment in time, subject to change on Amazon. Let's see what it comes with. Got your warranty. User manual, definitely be needing that in a little bit. And just a lanyard ring. And for to understand, this ring is able to withstand 30 kilograms of weight, according to their website. And this little guy is it. As you can see there, it does come with an LCD display. I believe there's like a plastic on this. So here it is. So I'll be taking that off. So this is the form factor. It's about the size of an 18650 battery. And I do have here an 18650 battery just for comparison. So you all could check that out. So the width obviously is a little bit more. The form factor is more, I guess, like a cube, a rectangle. So you can see that. But in terms of length, at least, it's about 18650 battery. So that's what you could expect in your pocket. It does have a clip on it. Obviously, you can see there an LCD display. And then you have your light. So turning it on is very simple. All you got to do, so you press on, and you can see you're on lockout mode. And obviously, that's to protect you from, you know, your battery going to waste. Because your battery is internal. It's not something you could just take out. Although it does obviously have the recharger, as I mentioned here on the side, which is pretty nice. So basically to get out of this lockout mode, all you gotta do is double click and hold down. And you can see you're out. And we start with the one lumen setting. Obviously you can turn it off and turn it back on if you're out of the lockout mode. You can see there we have 69 hours and 35 minutes. This is not fully, fully charged, but you know, pretty much up there. So then we'll go through to the next setting by clicking the top button. And you can see there are 15 lumens, 18 hours and 20 minutes. Next one is 65 lumens, nine hours and nine minutes. You can see the screen kind of going up and down, which is a little annoying on the camera, but in real life, you don't actually see that just so you guys are aware. And then we'll go to the next setting, which is 200 lumens and then back to one lumen. But now there is of course the turbo mode and all you gotta do for the turbo mode is hold it down and then let it go. And my left hand actually does feel some heat from that turbo. So I am going to take this light outside to show you all how it performs. But first, I just want to go through the official numbers. It also has an IPX rating of IP54, which basically means that you're dust proof. So there's not going to be any dust going into here, but definitely not something you want to submerge underwater. And then in terms of the length, it's 2.77 inches with 1.16 inches and the height is one inch. And the weight is what's really nice about it. I like that it's lightweight. It's less than two ounces. It's 1.88 ounces or 53.2 grams. And just as a point of reference, in case for all who don't know, one gram is approximately like a dollar bill. The max intensity is 8,130 candela. And then the max distance is actually 180 meters, which is 590 feet. It is impact resistant to one meter, meaning you could drop it safely, you know, to one meter. I wouldn't drop it any higher than that. But if you just drop it out of your pocket, you know, it should be more than fine. Another thing kind of unusual about it, but it does have a demo mode as well, as well as a daily mode. So to go through the two modes, I believe you just have to hold it down. Not something I'd recommend. I'd probably want to stay to the daily, you know, if that's something you're going to be using. And obviously if you don't need it, you could lock it out or simply turn it off. Another thing about it, it does come in two colors. This is the black version, but it also comes in a gray version as well. Nightcore core did send this out to me for review, but as always, I'm going to give you guys an honest review and kind of show you my findings. So now let's try it on and let's test it out. So we're here in a dimly lit staircase. Let's turn it on. This is the one lumen setting, as you can see there. And about 46 hours remaining. So it's not obviously on a full charge, but let's work our way up. Here we can see we have 13 hours left on low. And there's the low. It'll focus for me. We'll go up. Medium. High. And then we'll check out the turbo. Wow, so really bright. So it's very floody light. And obviously that's what you expect from something at this size and with this type of lens, but very nice and gives you really good situational awareness. As you can see around here. Oh, and that's my boat over there in case you guys want to check that out. So here along the ocean with the TUP. This is our low setting right here, our medium. That's our high right there. So you can see the area pretty nice, but let's try the turbo. And that really lights it up for us. 15 lumens, 
65 200 which is the one you'll probably use the most because you don't want to stay on turbo but a lot of times you'll jump on that turbo just to see what's going on real quick and it gives you a really nice flood around the area and just some nice peripheral vision anything close by will definitely get lit up pretty well So my final impressions for the Nightcore TUP is that it's an excellent light for the size. It's literally like the size of an 18650, which is super cool, very lightweight, easy to carry, which is something that really attracted me to it. I like the LED screen. I think this is very like futuristic for flashlights, very cool. I did have a small issue with the front button and you know, Nightcore did send this in to me and I contacted them. I told them, hey, what's going on with this? I sent them a video of what was going on. And basically they just replied to me that, you know, I, I did get maybe a lemon and the button was getting a little stuck on me. So they sent me another one. Haven't had any issues since, but you know, generally I really like it. I think it's great application. It's probably gonna be EDC, maybe for job use. If you just want something small that you could carry on the job, something to keep in the car or for emergencies or something you could just EDC literally because you know, very easy to carry, very lightweight. I think it's something you kind of forget about. Now the form factor is a little unusual for flashlights, but I think it's certainly something that you can get used to and something that you just kind of don't think about over time. So that's pretty much my final impressions for the light. If you guys have any questions or comments, definitely leave it down below. Like, share, subscribe, and you could also check out the links that I'll leave for this light as well, in case you want to check it out or see more reviews from other people as well. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. WRG, out.